thinking there it is hey guys welcome to waste that wednesday we go live every wednesday at 10 a.m mountain time and take junk that we buy for free or close to it and we turn it into home decor that we sell in our shop and on our website at jamierayvintage.com we were right on time but <laughs> we just did like our whole intro that she just said and told you all about these benches and we weren't live we yeah. haven't hit the right button. ironically zeb was like oh we're live you gotta start talking and i was like i don't feel like we are live yet and then who was right? Who was right? You were right. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often when it comes to electronics. Usually he's right. So we have two of these skirt benches. And $10. They were handmade by the lady's dad. They were getting rid of them. They had a scout, Boy Scout message on them, which scouting is great, but not really a design scheme. So we sanded that off and we're going to get started painting them. So I didn't sand it all the way off because we are painting them. I just sanded it till there it was, they were smooth and I could not fill the words on here anymore. Yeah, so some of them rich. got sanded way down and some are still visible. We're only going to be probably working on one. So that's going to haul that one there. away. So that way we've got more room. If you want to paint a project similar to this and you're looking for the products, you can pick those up at jamierayvintage.com as well. Um, and if you have questions, we'll try to respond, but Caitlin is also on here, so you can ask away. If you're watching on Facebook, if you would give us a little share situation, that would be fabulous. Helps us out a ton. YouTube, um, too. We also like to share. Yeah, stuff. share it out. And then um, give us a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe, that little notification bell. All right, I'm going to be mixing up some. I feel like I've given you a lot of directions, so I'm sorry. Now I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. I've got salt wash in here. <laughs> And I'm going to mix in. I've actually already been painting this morning. I'm trying to get all the thrift haul done from Saturday's Live. And I'm just going to add some weathered wood DIY paint. And salt wash is just a texture medium because when I want to make something old and crusty and yummy, I like texture. It also really helps paint to stick to shiny surfaces. And he really wanted these to be cleaned after the scouts did it because Grandpa lacquered the crap out of it. Yeah, tons of lacquer on these. They're pretty shiny. And, you know, they've held up. I mean, if anybody has been around scouts, they're not easy on stuff. I mean, it's basically like you, like young, like kids and teenage boys. Uh, and they don't, they don't really care that much about things. <laughs> Do we use a laptop to edit our videos? Zeb has a very fancy uh, Mac. But when we first started editing, we used a PC um, and we just kind of upgraded over time. Right now we have a laptop out because we're using StreamYard. It's how we stream on Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Um, and we have a, we're using a DSLR to stream. So we hopefully get better quality. How's the sound this is today? This actually a mirrorless camera. A mirrorless camera. Woo -woo. As our channel has grown, we have upgraded in technology and spent some money there and this mouse is from leslie johnson she super chatted me so i could have a mouse a, a mostly she one. got tired of zeb getting irritated at me clicking the wrong thing she's like i'm gonna solve your marital discontent <laughs> and get you a mouse All right. i love it so what am i doing with this milk paint? do i need to yeah, can mix, you mix it up, up? That milk paint? Okay. okay so i'm mixing this in there's directions on the can that say like how much you should use but i actually just determine what kind of texture I want. I don't want like crazy amounts of texture today. So I will show you what this looks like. It's like, I don't know, kind of like sandy. Like I dropped my paint in the dirt and I scooped it up. I don't know what they put in the salt wash, but it makes it stick like crazy. I don't have anything to measure. When you're doing milk paint, one part water, one part uh, paint powder, and that'll get you a pretty good consistency. If you want to use the extra bond like we did in our recent chippy video we just put a little bit but if you're using extra bond because you don't want your paint to just be super crackly and chippy you just want a nice milk paint finish with the smooth finish that you can get you would do the paint one part extra bond to two parts of the mixed paint mixed together with water already does that make sense i don't know i probably said that the hardest way possible whoa and I'm just painting this on here. You can stipple it on if you want to add texture, but I'm just brushing it on. And then I might come back and do some thicker texture in a few areas, but I'm just trying to get an all over textured finish. Because when you have old paint finishes, 
generally at some point somebody got some crud in their paint and you got texture so when you try to take something that doesn't have a texture finish and make it look old salt wash helps out so if you want it if this is like really thick you could take it and put it on here like this but i'm just brushing it on because like i said i don't want it like overly textured today and now we have really thick into the spot here it's awesome so you want this Let's it, not get it on our newly painted floors that we haven't finished. No, I'm being careful. We did, if you've been waiting for the floor and the I, the backside of the island makeover, that video will most likely be out tomorrow. We might save it for Friday. We don't know. We were going to get it out yesterday, and the floors were not, we'll say they weren't cured enough until the afternoon to set the furniture on because we did one side of the room and we shuffled all the furniture back over and did the other side. So we've had, it's, it's taken a little bit of time and we even had a few spots where we were being careful, like blankets on the floor under the furniture that the, it still made the, the blanket stick. So we had to repaint those. It's been interesting. For those of you that don't know, we have eight people that live in our house. So trying to keep eight people out of the kitchen for multiple days at a time while we work on this project has been, you know, it's been interesting. We thought about sending everybody away, but that was never gonna happen. So we just ripped it off like a Band-Aid and did it. When you have painted floors, it's one of those things. You just got you got some upkeep. Nobody's going to paint their floors and never have to touch them up again. So are you just brushing the salt wash on? Yeah, just add texture. The salt wash mixture? Yep, and I'm going to come back. I'm going to add a little bit more salt wash and come back and stipple a few areas. But I wanted an overall dark coat underneath. And this is going to do that for me. And I know if you're just joining, Jamie mentioned it at the first of the video, but the... Uh, we paid ten dollars for these benches. Yeah, ten dollars for the benches and the salt wash will really help it stick to this lacquered finish. With the current price of wood, these are probably worth like four hundred dollars. <laughs> um, so these are just out of uh, one by common board. This is so this is going to be a one by ten. Um, so that's going to break it down to exactly how much wood we have. Here. I'm going to say you would need at least two full boards. So that would be probably about $55, $60 in wood right now because that's how much those one buys are running in an eight-foot section. So clearly buying it already put together for $10 at yard sale was the best option. That's why we do Waste Not Wednesday because Waste Not Want Not. Why use new wood when you can get old? All right. The text system is working. Everyone that's opted in for the text messaging for... Like if we're having a sale or when we get new product or when we go live, you get the notification. Yay. Social media doesn't always give you the notification like social it should right away. Sometimes bites a big one. And it's working. So those people are here joining us. That's awesome. If you guys um, have not watched our chippy milk paint video from last week, it is on Facebook and YouTube. You can watch it. Um, let us know what you think about that buffet. I knew when I painted it super chippy that it would be kind of a heated subject. The people on Facebook, it's already starting to share on Facebook outside of our normal realm of people. And so we have a lot of very interesting comments. So it's always fun to me. I know when people start getting mean that it's really making the rounds because they're not people used to people painting antiques. So Rebecca, that question about editing and the computer and things like that, there, there are a million right answers. You can go pretty basic and still get the job done. Or if you, so, so time is why we've got the, uh, the bigger, faster, better computers, because during the time, I'm, I'm editing takes a long time to render and things like that. So the faster and better your computer is, the less time you'll spend editing. Sorry. But we got, we got Jamie's parents over here. And if, if it sounds, if the shoes <laughs> sounded a little loud, it's because my, my dad's kind of hard hearing. Um, so anyway, there's tons and tons of videos out there already on YouTube on what you need to get started from basic to best options you could get and most money you can spend. Sky's kind of the limit on that with editing. So I would check, I would just Google uh, YouTube video editing software, or computer best setup, something like that. <laughs> Sally said no, mean, no, no need for people to get mean on Facebook. She's got my back. It's all right. All like right. I said, when people start put putting comments where they really don't like my stuff, it's how I know that the video has been shared a ton. So it's actually kind of a good thing on Facebook. No, Dad, you have to go around. He wants in. <laughs> He's real cute. 
So milk, melted milkshake consistency. I've been stirring this a lot because I've just got a spoon and I've got most of the chunks out of here. If you have an immersion blender or a whisk, or I guess yeah. I said stir, Somebody I said they don't part. believe we actually have an immersion blender because we always say we, we have can't two. Find it. We have two. I promise. We actually probably have three. The There's trouble the is, shop. is the ones I know where they're at, they that haven't been cleaned and they need to really be gone through because the milk paint's dry. We'll probably, I'm going to just look the next time we go to the thrift store. That's where I always buy them at, anyways, and just get a new immersion blender because we're kind of. Our life's busy, man. Sometimes we don't take care of our tools. Yeah, did you already eat breakfast already? Are you okay? Uh, did you eat breakfast already? Yes. Were there strawberries? What? Did you eat strawberries? What strawberries? Yeah, I know. We found the other half on the freshly painted white floor. There? Yeah. I already picked one up off of it. Oh, but left a mark. You're lucky. You're cute. You want to show them your new haircut? Come on. Oh, you got your shoes on. Never mind. He's already tied them up. You can't come in here with the shoes for another. I'll have to show you another three later. or My four dad days. Got a haircut. He's so cute. I'm coming in there with my socks. So, okay. so we painted the floor with in an enamel paint, and it takes like a week to cure up hard. So it's socks only in here right now because we tried walking on it with shoes and we scuffed it like crazy. I think it's gonna be socks for the rest of our life. I'm just gonna put a box of socks over there with a little chair that says "Sit here, put your socks on." So Carolyn, this is this is uh, salt wash and weathered wood mixed together. Dark and decrepit will give you a similar dark look, and probably could be used up for the same application because it's got it's a built-in sealer though. in it. Uh, you could get a couple coats and go. All right, I'm gonna now. I've added more salt wash, and yes, I used my brush to stir. If that's offensive, I'm sorry. Cindy, I don't know what the number is to get the text notifications. If you want to, I, I'm sure Caitlin, Caitlin can drop here. the she link. She can drop the link. Caitlin, can you drop the link? You just sign up through this link that we have. She will get that on here in a minute. Let's see. I'm just looking through. The bench looks. Kai says yeah, the bench looks great. Is it getting a stencil or a transfer? Probably, probably a stencil. Probably. <laughs> All right, that's more from the heat gun. So now yes. what I'm doing is going along the edge with a much thicker salt wash mix um, to add some age and randomness to this. So once you really thicken up your salt wash, it's not just like a sandy texture, it's like a chunky situation texture. And I like that. So I'm going to come and do that, but just I didn't want to do it everywhere. This is going to take a hot minute to dry with the salt wash on here. So bear with me and the heat gun. It's all right. We got it. So Caitlin dropped the link if you want to see the text notifications and get those. Yeah, why don't you dry this front part? So then I can paint that while you dry the rest. Because that's probably the easiest for them to see. I'll start washing that. Switch. Okay. Here, I'm going to move this mic over here so it's not picking up. If anybody um, follows on Facebook or Instagram, if you've been following my stories, I have been doing a ton of fall cleaning. Has anybody else been cleaning up for fall? I just felt the need. I think it's because we're getting ready to buy the church and get that project done. And so I feel the need to get my house in order before that happens. Exciting news on the church. If you've been following along, we're trying to buy an old church so that we can use it as our shop space and uh, have a store inside of it and we were in jamie went to the last uh city council meeting that we had to go to we got approval they were arguing over who could second it because they're so excited i love our city <laughs> bless lehigh man they have been good to work with even when we did this house they were good to work with um but yeah so that's done we thought we would close in the middle of october but apparently the sba is behind we should have full internal approval at the bank by the end of the week. And then at that point, it's just a waiting game. So we thought we closed the middle of November or October, but at the very latest, it'll be middle of November. Maybe they'll bump us up. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll, we'll get lucky time. and they'll get all caught up by the Zymars is in there in a week or two. Oh, that's, Heidi. That's how the government works, right? They get caught up. Heidi is on her way to work this morning. I'm going to see Heidi in a little bit because she's still training. Um, Tanea is going to get her started there. The church is located in Lehigh, Utah. It was built in 1894 and then had an addition put on in 1917. It also has a big, like, what'd you say, oversized two car or four car garage? Um, it would be it's 750 square feet. So, four cars. so it'd be a three car. Three car. Two cars yeah. this way, one car this way. Yeah. Um, we're going to have zero cars in it. It's going to be that's workshop. 
and my hoarding station. It's going to have a loft area for chairs and whatnot. It's going to be amazing because it's got a really tall ceiling, so we can almost put like an attic situation for all Jamie's lightweight stuff that she has extras of. I have a few things. Um, and then it's got a cottage that in the beginning, uh, our, we're going to have our, our guard, Harrington, is going to be hanging out in the cottage, living there for a little bit. And then I don't know what we'll do with the cottage eventually. Let's see. R.E. Cosina says that she does fall cleaning as well. Francis says, Zeb, could you create a list of what and when to use certain kinds of paint? You may have already had one. That would be a good um, blog post, maybe. So yeah, we could we'll probably work with Caitlin that. on that. And I've been thinking that we need to do like a basic, because we have, a, we started out with our website about six and a half, seven years ago, and we had one paint brand on there, and that paint brand isn't even in existence anymore. So now we've got a bunch on there. Um, so we sell milk paint, we sell farmhouse finishes, sweet pickings, DIY, plus salt wash. So yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, let's see, another question about the church. Is it the one west of State Street that's currently a residence? Yes. So it's off of State and 500 and it's currently owned by um, the Lambs. And they, it's a, a mom and her son and her daughter-in-law. And the mother just turned 90. And so they're looking to downsize. It just wound up being right timing. And so we're going to be pulling out what they've added in to make it into a residence and making it more like the chapel it was from the beginning. And then in the original chapel that was built in 1894, that will be our retail store. On the left-hand side, there's like, because uh, there's almost like there's two residences. There's another kitchen and stuff. That will be our shipping warehouse area for shipping out products that you guys order. And then the second floor will be classroom space. And the third floor will be like a creative studio and offices. So we're super excited about that. We thought about adding a greenhouse to the property. Um, so that way we can like maybe have plants in the spring. It's a half acre. So there's a lot of... Um, things going it's on. A decent sized lot for us. Do you want to grab that other bench in case people are just joining and show them what? Yeah, we will. It looked like to start. We have two of these. Any rooms of the church for an Airbnb? Not. Uh, right now. <laughs> so we've discussed. Uh, we've discussed it. If it ever, if we ever don't use it for a shop, if we outgrow the church, we might do something like that because it has this three stories and there's like five rooms upstairs. This is what this bench looked like if you're just tuning in. This is the before. Um, and yeah, I'm going to get some sealer on the front, get that sealed up a little bit. This bench, when it's completed, will sell for about $90 in the store. And then on the website, because shipping is going to be outrageous, um, we will sell this bench for about $170, $160. I need to figure out shipping on it because it's so big. <laughs> it's got to go in a big old box. Yeah, it'll, it'll cost more to ship it than it does for the actual bench. Yeah. All right, so sealer. Because if you've tried to ship anything recently, you know. You know. You know, you know. All right, you know what I don't know is where there is some sealer. After the sealer, we're going to use this. So this is kind of a similar method that we use when we do corbels um to get them real chippy we use like a salt wash and just kind of like the diy the clay based paint to give us some good thick texture and then we come back over with the milk paint because it gets crappy and chippy and does its thing and then uh, we, we do seal in between the steps so that the milk paint has a little bit of resist because if it's if it just goes down into that porous uh diy and uh and a salt wash it mix, off. it's not going to really chip or do anything like that. It would just be color, which is fine too if you want that look. All right, Zeb, as soon as I get this sealed real quick, I'm not being super particular. Like I said, we're trying to make it look old and crusty. That is the point here. Then can you dry this part here? Yeah, I'll come back. In an attempt to get this stenciled at the end, we're going to probably be using the heat gun a lot. Yeah, it's basically going to run the whole time. Okay, I'll let you heat gun that. And then we'll get milk paint on there. Oh, and then after you're done doing that and I get milk paint on there, will you heat gun the top? 
because I, I think that's where we're going to stencil it. Yeah. Okay, we've got new comments here. So if you search up um, DIY paint for beginners, we do have a video on like very basic. We used, it was a little side table. Um, I don't know if, it, if Caitlin can find the link. Um, it's been a few years ago and we just painted it with paint and sealed it with clear wax. I feel like that's a really good place to start. Um, and then on these types of videos, we try to show you a little bit more advanced techniques because the, that's what we get the most questions on is how do you make something look old and crusty? Um, and this is kind of our signature crusty finish. But have a nice new clean finish. Because by the right. time we get done, this will be sealed up and you can wipe it down and it'll be good to go. I'm sealing it with Sweet Pickens Top Coat. Sorry, I should have said that. Um, Sweet Pickens Top Coat or DIY Big Top, like any of that would be fine. If you don't mind that it's slightly toxic, you could throw it outside and spray some lacquer on it. Um, but especially as winter comes. Sweet Pickens isn't toxic though. No, but lacquer. Lacquer is. is hardcore stuff. Lots we, of chemicals. In yeah. There. We try um, to use all natural because we're doing it inside of our house and showing you guys as winter comes how you can still complete your projects even without going outside in the snow. This might be interesting because even though I'm getting the top layer dry-ish, it's not going to be all the way dry when we start putting paint on. So we'll see how this goes. Oops, kick the well, thanks, Caitlin. Guys. She dropped the DIY basics video. So hopefully that one is coming. Caitlin is on it this morning. Uh, Caitlin says the cottage will be needed for us. No, uh, no uh, Airbnb in there. We're going to need no. all the space. There also is a good sized basement for storage that we'll use for wholesale. And we, they closed off the staircase at one point in the addition that led to the basement. We're going to reopen that. The stairs are already there. So that way they don't have to go outside to get product that we're storing down in that basement. It does have area. some big double doors and an exterior entrance to the basement yeah. though. So we can put some big stuff in there if we need to. I don't, I think we'll keep most of the big stuff probably in the barn, garage, and then in the basement anyways. We're excited, can you tell? Yeah. Why the top coat? So the reason for the top coat is because the milk paint needs something to resist. If you just paint it on top of DIY paint, it's just gonna soak it in. Um, if you don't quite get the liquid oil. All right, so I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to wash my brush. So these white streaky areas that you can still see on here is where Jamie got it super thick. And it will it will go clear on you as it dries. I'm going to just rub it with my hand back a little bit so we can smooth that out a little bit. That's working. Well, we'll probably, we're going to paint no paint on it before it's dry. All if you do go, something to know, though, if you go really thick with your sealer, you can get white spots on your sealer like this. So go thin coats, lots of thin coats when you're putting sealer on something like a tabletop or, or a side table. Yeah, this, is, this is a chunky finish. We don't want a chunky finish. Okay, so we're gonna wash this off. Sorry guys, I, need, I don't know where my other- They probably can't hear you way over there. I don't there. know where my other good brush went, so I'm washing this out, but <laughs> I have some like rounded brushes, but I want to flat. I think with all the painting projects we've done, it's just, you know. They're still not going to hear you if you turned away from the mics. Sorry. Well, you can just repeat it. I'm just washing the brush. She's washing her brush because she can't find the uh, the one that she wanted. We're down to one brush again. I need to grab some at the shop. So the highs and lows you're seeing on here still, they it's because it's not dry. I'm trying, but, you know, you can... If you were to do this at home, paint one coat, let it sit dry, paint the next coat, let it sit dry, and then go. But since it's a live stream, we've got limited time to try to get a project done. So, be done. The good thing is that these play on do wash out pretty good. I don't know what they got on these bristles, but the paint doesn't stick to the brush. All right, we are going to add milk paint next. I think it's probably dry enough that you could get milk paint on here without pulling salt wash off. Like there's enough of a barrier between them that they won't mix. If you are wondering where we're at now, this is, we call this the farmhouse. It was the original farmhouse to the area, and this is our house. This house was built in 1917. 
and we recently renovated it. We do have a playlist and some videos showing the construction of this house. Okay, so we've got Summer Cottage. Um, this says Old Fashioned Milk Paint. It's the same brand as Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. In the store, we sell Old Fashioned, um, and online, we sell Sweet Pickens because there's another Sweet Pickens retailer in town, and so we can only sell Old Fashioned in the store. And we do sell the milk paint by the gallon. Mm -hmm. So you can get a big project done, which is nice. Not a lot of boutique paints can you sell by the gallon. So I'm just going to come and paint this bright mint. So many old pieces of furniture have the bright mint on them. I don't know what it is, but it was very popular. popular. I think the 50s, late 40s and 50s really brought that color in. Okay, as soon as you're done with that, I will go seal that top and you can come dry this on the front. Like Zeb said, if you were doing this uh, at home, not on a live stream, I would suggest uh, letting everything dry and just get it, put it on your, you know, your kitchen island, paint a coat, do your laundry, come back, paint another coat. All right, this is done here. I missed Les's earlier comment, but she's talking about replacing uh, flooring and a porch. They just got new flooring in their farmhouse and now part of the porch needs to be replaced. That's exciting, but they the flooring's done. They had a tornado? It was a tornado a or a hurricane? I knew. Thanks, Cheryl. It is a mint. A pretty color. So Christina says it's because mint is pretty. Oh, that sounds like a mess. I'm sorry, Les. It is a pain to have to redo everything. We're not because of natural disaster, but we're about to redo a lot of stuff at the church. It's been a long time coming. I'm excited though to go in and do a lot of structural stuff. You got to hit the record button on top. Oh, the record button. That one. Nope. There you go. Initially, we're just going to get it ready to move our shop into it. And then it's going to be many hours of me on a ladder with a piping bag. Oh, there was a tornado. There we go. I knew that. I thought that was what it was. Do you paint the underneath of tables and benches? Sometimes um, I painted the inside, but I'm probably not going to paint like up underneath because this has a long enough skirt that you can't really see it. All right, that's dry enough. I'm going to go ahead and get sealer on here if you want to. Okay. Back to the front. Yeah, back to the front. Making this heat gun do some work. You can see the milk paint. I've got it a little on the thin side. And it's got a little bit of drippy and runny, but we actually love that. That's okay. If you wanted to, like, put a smooth top coat finish on something, you would definitely not be using a round brush. A big flat brush or a foam brush. Hold on, can you thin that out a little bit? It's going to take me forever to get that. Yes, I will. <laughs> you could also, we used um, DIY paint on the base, but you could also use a milk paint um, with the salt wash as well. And what I do is I just put the salt wash and milk paint and everything and mix it up with a fork instead of mixing it up independently. All right, Deb, I think. Is that good? Yeah, that should be good. And how is the finish coming? Um, it, it's going to be a minute before it gets dry. All right. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it's got some, some runny. Are you going to do a second coat? Uh huh. Is it dry enough to come No. No. I'll go back to coming. Yeah, go talk to the folks for a minute. It's going to be a hot second before I get this dry enough. Or you could go pick out a stencil that you want to use. My mic is over here. We can't actually wear them anymore because they were cracking. So the mics are on the island. Can you hear me now? And I have them a long ways away Kai, from the heat gun. Probably not because I fill up every inch of the shop we're at now. So... We will have the Woods products there, but there won't be like any. We're not doing any booth rental or space that way. We just have the JRV products there. Caitlin says that makes sense because now I sound great. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, I am not probably using this at the house. We're going to sell these. I 
This house is actually pretty cool. We have, she'd have to, it, it's one of those things, she'd have to really, really love it to replace some of the things she already really, really loves. Yeah. You know what, Deb, what we probably need to do is take that other mic and just stick it right underneath the bed. I had it close to me because I don't, I, I They moved said it that over, it's not loud. I moved it over there because the heat gun was. Oh, okay. That's loud. Um, let's see. I can move it back over here once. Les has says she has two of these benches on each side of her front door. Her front door looks like a colonial tavern. That's fun. That's awesome. And Anna has a bench like this on her back porch. Come on, Dad. Just don't kick the ca oh, camera. Don't kick it. It's all right. Come show me your haircut. If you guys have seen my dad recently, he's kind of looked like Albert Einstein, and he's not real thrilled about his haircut. So leave us a comment if you like his new snazzy haircut. Mariah cut his hair. Here, turn around, show him the back. It's a little bit messed up. It was about eight inches long before he got a cut Sunday. Like, we saw <laughs> the news. We Thanks, Dad, on your way out. <laughs> <laughs> we love the new haircut, so. More, more importantly, mom loves the new haircut. Yeah, his wife is happy. All right, Zeb, move in the mic for me. So you probably can't see, but we've already got some crackle in here. I could probably zoom in on it. Um, yeah, do you want to do that real quick just to show them before we put the second coat um, what this looks like and the textures coming through? I feel like with the black, you couldn't really see it as well. Let's see how or close with the, we can get. With focus. the weathered wood. Okay, so there's there's pretty close you up. see the crackle? I don't know. It's really good, I promise. All right, now it's second coat time. The crackle will come through still. Second coat's really going to be the final, like, paint situation here. It's going to be color covered enough. We have a bench we did similar to this uh, without the saw wash, I think that we put in the kids' bathroom. They use it to brush their teeth. I think it says brush and wash or something on it. All right. Cruising along with the heat gun here. Hopefully it's not too loud. Most people say that the heat gun's not loud. It's way louder on our end than it is for you guys. So that's good. The noise canceling is doing what it's supposed to do. Dad, you can't drink Diet Pepsi on the couch, yo. Going to the table. Yeah. I could tell that he's been cooped up in his room for too long yeah. while we're finishing this space. He's right. This is like the main hub of our house, is the kitchen, dining, living area. All right. That is they're like in the uh they're like in the distressed and the crackle. I just kicked the camera. Don't Did you that. kick the camera? Bit, which is fine. It's fine. It's just texture, right? They're liking the hair, Dad. They like the hair. See, it's popular. I can give him this haircut. He never really had super long hair before, but with COVID, it, he went a long time without cutting it, and then I guess he just started to like it, and it stuck. Renee, he's never been off soda. He's supposed to not drink it because it's bad for his kidneys, but... He doesn't stop doing what we he doesn't he doesn't do what we tell him to do anymore. He's 88, he does his own thing all the time. True that. All right. He's, like, he's like, I'm 88, I earned this soda. And then then he has problems with his kidneys, and I'm like, listen, Dad. All right. <laughs> but he's about to take a trip to go visit all my sisters so they can be in charge. Good luck, Buttercup. All right, can you dry that? And then we'll be ready for distress and a stencil. If you go real smooth, you might be able to get away with one coat on the top. Maybe. If you smooth it back out. We'll see. If you can see, you can dry the front. And then while you're drying everything, I'll just finish top coating everything. Sorry. What, Dad? No, that's that's got uh, wall paint on it. But that is where my other brush is. Thanks, Dad. So. I'm touching up these boards. Kai says, Zeb, a pergola over the back patio, shady and cozy, cozy furniture for the mature going for the mature going to enjoy the 
and get out of the house. Yeah, we're gonna next next spring. We do have <laughs> a lot probably. of shade on the back patio. That's what we've been eating. We had two umbrellas. One did not survive yesterday's windstorm. So next year is the back patio. We do have so if we attach to the house, we have to involve a structural engineer because the city then requires you to have a permit to make sure that if there's snow load or whatever you have on there, that the house will also support whatever structure you hang out over the end. So we're looking into some options on that. Well, and I'm looking at, I want to probably get with our architect because I want to make sure that whatever we put on the back looks good. And he did a really good job on the addition. So yeah. we're going to get with our architect. We work really hard on the house. So we'll make sure it's, it looks good, you know? The other thing is you don't necessarily have to, when you're doing this in between sealer, you don't have to seal everything, right? Like it doesn't have to chip and crackle everywhere. So I'm not worried if I get sealer everywhere. Just enough places that I get some good separation of milk paint and DIY paint. We like drips because we distress and that's where it cracks and chips good. If you're not going to distress your piece, brush your drips. If you're not going to distress, <laughs> are you really on the right channel? You really on the right channel. Know. Probably we, not. We do not discriminate. We I can't can think of the last time we did not distress a piece. It was custom work for sure. But for our own stuff and the things that we sell, that we create, everything gets distressed and chippy. And I did distress my kitchen cabinet. Yeah, that's happening on its own. They're talking about my tub. Oh, are you guys talk? I have some olive buckets on the front porch with my mums. Um, so someone asked about what's going to be in the craft box. Oh, it's going to be something that I design, and I haven't designed it yet because I keep going back to the drawing board. Actually, I was thinking this morning, what about a serving board? I was going to do Christmas ornaments, right? But then I was like, you know what? I don't know. It's Christmas. Do I want to do ornaments or do I want to do something they can use for fall and, you know what I mean, like year round? And a lot of people entertain for the holidays or they like to decorate. So I'm thinking it might be some sort of serving tray. That's fun. Yeah, I think it will be fun. So type in, let me know what you think. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I just have to make sure if I'm going to do something like that. I need to make sure I can get enough hemp oil so that way it's food safe. That's kind of my thought. We did portables last time. We've done a clock. We did last the very did first Christmas one was trees. a Christmas tree. And cute. And we're kind of behind on designing it, and I'm sorry about that. But. So you can see what the heat gun's doing here. Let me bring you in close. Let's see if we can focus. I'm going to make it a little bit darker real quick. So you guys look blurry. Sorry. Does not want to focus over there. Okay, there we go. Wait, wait for it. Give it something to focus on. Well, it's still blurry. Yep. I, I zoomed in really There we far. go. Now it's fine. Can you guys see all that yummy texture? No, it doesn't like it. It doesn't. There, it's perfect. You can they see can it. They can see it. So that's happening with the heat gun. If you just let it dry, it would still happen. Because it's the milk paint. Sure, the world is good. The crockery stamp, I think it's going to be a couple months before that one gets back in stock with IOD. There is a release coming on Monday, and there's going to be a re release of a popular transfer that I can't divulge. And then new products. And if our products get here on time, we will have a video coming out on Monday highlighting all of the products that are new or redone from IOD. Um, and if we don't, I do, I actually got some samples sent to me from IOD like five months ago. So I'll at least be able to do a couple of them, but I'm hoping I can showcase all of the new ones. All right, Jamie, that front is ready for you to distress. 
Do you have any? Uh, do you have any sandpaper out here? Oh, I'm just gonna the front's uh, ready for off. Chippy. Okay. I'm going to try not to use sandpaper in my house now that I just painted it. No hand. more sandpaper in the house. I'm not saying never. Never say never. Right? Yeah, don't, don't say never. Ooh, that's that. good. Yeah, I got some really good crackle. All right, so this just has water on it. And this does a couple of things. This reactivates the milk paint, but it also distresses it. So we're going to get more chippy and crackle. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And as this dries, even after the live, it'll crackle and chip some more. We also, like, if you didn't want the dark base coat, you could have just went straight to milk paint, but that light orangey wood is not my favorite. So that's why I went with a dark color. Is it getting crackled? Mm -hmm. It already has crackled, but I'm just bringing back the dark color. And everywhere there's texture, I can wash off kind of the milk paint. And look, their big chunk just came off right there. She loves the big chunk so it's much. It's very exciting to me, sorry. Oh, here comes big chunks coming off. That I just scraped off. But these right here are naturally occurring chippiness. You watch. Boop. All right, I'm gonna stop wet distressing because I feel like we're gonna get enough once it dries. A finish like this, if you were just gonna let it naturally occur, would take years and years of paint and wear and grunge and chip. So what we try to do is do that in a day. I will do this if you want to go grab. I said I wasn't going to sand again, but you need some sand just paper. some 220, just a, like a little light sanding, just a little, little baby sand. We'll try not to get dust all over the place. Sorry, Zen will be right back. And then I'll have I'll have him sand it and then I'll have him just bring the camera up close because I feel like you need to see it to, to really grasp the situation of the awesomeness. Is that even a thing? Situation of the awesomeness? I'll turn the camera. I think we need another coat on top. So I'm gonna Second coat on the top? Yeah, I'm going to second coat the top if you'll sand the front. Okay. And then bring them in so they can see it. So yeah. I don't think I'll they bring can. It in close. We'll bring it in close. And then we'll grab a stencil. Oh, goodness. Look at how chippy that got. Can you guys see the chippiness on there? All along the top of the lip there? That's going to be good when it chips. You, you want to make sure, though, you guys, when you're putting this milk paint on, that the top coat that you use to separate the DIY from the milk paint is not all the way dry. Because when it's still, still slightly tacky, that's where some of the magic happens. If you let it dry completely, it's just, it'll be okay, but it's just really good. Okay, I'm going to move this while I stand. Move what? The mic. Okay. And then we'll have to finish with getting the top to be as gentle on here. This type of finish is my favorite on corbels, but this bench is going to be really good too. Thank you, Caitlin. She dropped the link to the base coat, which is weathered wood. How do you stop the chipping from continuing? So once it gets super chippy, you don't want to use a liquid top coat. So when we're all finished, this will be sealed with a clear wax because water activates the milk paint. So if you have a lot of chippy finish and you schlep on more water, it just makes it chip more. So sand it to where all the chipping is done and then clear wax it. Um, if you don't mind something that's not all natural, there is also a product called Peel Stop. 
that you can use to basically seal on all the chunks and chips of paint. You can also use it on really old naturally chippy pieces to seal on the chippy finish. Um, and I think you can pick it up on Amazon or at a local hardware store. But we are just going to seal it with clear wax because we don't, I'm not worried about this paint flaking off because it's not lead based. It's all natural, so it's totally safe. And I definitely am not going to put a liquid top coat over the top of it. So hopefully that answers your questions. But just if it's chippy, don't use a liquid top coat. Use clear wax. If it's like chippy milk paint. I learned that the hard way. We have a video where I painted nightstands white and I kept trying to use a liquid top coat and it kept chipping and chipping and chipping. Finally, Sasha was like, you, Sasha's who owns Sweet Pig and Milk Paint, and she's like, you clear wax. I was like, oh. I'm like, I'm a, D I'm a Sweet Pig and Milk Paint retailer, and I didn't know that. That was many years ago. All right. Let me bring you in close so you can see. Can, can, let me know when you can see it good, Jamie. So this is Summer Cottage. Oh, yeah, you can see it good. And some of the original, so people ask, like, will it chip through the base coat? You can see that it does. So we've got some of, like, the lighter color, some of the darker color. Um, and milk paint is unpredictable. So it's, I can't say that you could paint it and it, you'll never see the base coat again. So if you really hate a base coat, you might have to strip that off or just take the chance that whatever's underneath will come out over time. Okay, I'm going to get this top dry so we can stencil it, and then I think... It'll be about time to wrap it up. Do you want to put wax on that or do you want to wait for that to keep drying and see if anything more chips off? Because it will continue to dry. Even I though we don't think we it. should wax it right now. I think yeah. we need to wait a few hours and let it really dry and then we'll wax it. Oh, I'll you know share what? pictures. The stencils are over in that drawer over I'll there. I'll go grab one. Um, I was going to answer a question real quick. Rosemary Marie said, "Would you? what would you recommend for kitchen cabinets? Um, we have cabinet videos, so definitely go on YouTube because that's where they're at. And Jamie Ray Vintage. Jamie Ray Vintage on YouTube. And look, Jamie Ray Vintage Kitchen Cabinets. Um, we used on these DIYs beadboard, and then we sealed them with Sweet Pickens Top Coat. And they've held up really well. Um, we've lived here for six months. They still look really good. And they have nine been, months. Nine months. We've lived here for nine months. Um, Actually, and almost then, 10. Our last house, yeah, we're getting close. Our last house, um, we used DIY's White Swan. We did wind up priming them because they were already had a finish on them. But I, if you sand them lightly, you can just use DIY paint. But I was worried not so much about the paint not sticking, but I was worried about bleed through. So it's really up to you. So the DIY's paint is amazing. And then Sweet Pickens Top Coat to seal. Make sure you do like three or four coats of the top coat to seal. You could also use DIY, um, DIY's Big Top instead of the top coat if you want more sheen because this will dry more matte. Our cabinets have a little bit of sheen, but they're not real shiny. DIY's Big Top um, dries a little bit shinier. So it kind of depends on what finish you want. But either one works, but definitely for kitchen cabinets, DIY paint is the bomb. What are the stencil choices? Lots of choices. We have pretty much all the stencils that we make here. There's some at the shop. Some older ones are at the shop, but all the more recent ones. So I'm getting some good crackle here on the top. Some of that might be the heat gun because it's making the, the sealer dry real fast and it's pulling it. Um, but it would, it would probably still crack and chip on its own. Especially if you don't add the extra bond, that is, that's gonna really let it do its thing. So Violet asks, Violet Hopper asks if uh, you could use the Sweet Pickens oil wax over a really chippy finish. Um, the oil wax isn't necessarily going to reactivate that paint like a water-based sealer would, but it is wet so in, in a sense. So it does, it, it does make a little bit more chip off sometimes, but it's not as bad as like a liquid sealer would be because the liquid sealer you it's typically water-based you put them on there 
and then they sit as they dry and it reactivates that paint. Whereas the oil wax kind of sits on top until it dries and cures. Um, so it doesn't necessarily absorb down, but it's porous. The paint is porous before you seal it. So that's what you're fighting against if you're using like a top coat, whereas wax, it's kind of more of a paste and not really wet. So it goes on best if you do that. But we just dropped. Did we seal the paint? Yeah. That's okay. I'll get it. Here, just soak it up with one of those rags. Sorry, I just spilled all the paint on the drop cloth. That's why we use the drop cloth. There we go. Hopefully it'll dry out. Okay. We used our, I used this wax brush, which actually is a stencil brush this morning to wax. I'm gonna wash off the wax. You really shouldn't use your brushes interchangeably that way, but I want to put, this is an oldie but a goodie. It's a French grain sack stencil that we sell. It's a JRB stencil, which you can get JanuaryVintage.com or from one of our retailers. I just want to put it kind of off to the side. I don't want to do anything like overly obnoxious on it. I think on the other one, I might use that cotton. We'll do one French and we'll do one. You just knocked over the paint again. Oops, we may probably should put it over here. Yeah. It's okay. It's just paint. Yeah. So, in our last milk paint video, Jamie was like, yeah, I don't know if you guys are strong enough for how chippy this is going to get. The top of this just got, you need to be strong for it, chippy. Do you have <laughs> your chippy strength? So this, most of this here is going to flake off because it's raised and bubbled. I don't know if you guys can see that, if it'll focus without me up over there. Um, but it got pretty crackly. I think this is drying up in the center. You can go ahead and, I want to just stencil it off center because we can stencil on that side. Go ahead and just stencil it with a leathered wood. Okay. Or do you want to use a different color? White. So I'm going to stencil this before chipping off a lot of it because sometimes if you get like the stencil on and then some chips off, it makes it look like it's been there forever. Okay, so do you want to use weather glue on that? Just yeah, I can use weather glue. Okay. Um, I need a stencil brush that doesn't I, have... This has some wax on it, but it's... Oh, you got wax on the stencil brush? Yeah, that's all right. It'll work. Chat. Do you want this straight or like off center? Yeah, I wanted it like how I put it. So like that? Like it was stamped on there. Okay. I'll show you why I have wax on my brush. I put this in my feed today. But this is why there's wax. I look how cute these are. Okay. I got these finished this morning from two weeks ago. We got to mail them out. If it was you that ordered them, sorry, it's my fault, not my shipping team. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys up close so you can kind of see the stenciling happening. Just gonna. I'm just gonna keep gun and paint this before we spill all the paint. So the. The base is weathered wood, then we put Summer Cottage on here. I'm just offloading on the drop cloth like we do. And then I'm going back stenciling with weathered wood. I'm not holding my breath. Ooh, that and, wax uh, is on there. Yeah, we're going to get two benches done today. I think this may be the one and done for us. The one and done bench? The other one may get finished on a later video. We'll do something different on that one. We really need to finish designing the projects. That's for what I'm using the stencil the craft boxes. We need to finish. We got all, we got all the labels done, right? For the new. Yep, I got all the labels done for the new JRV Beauty products coming out. Some fun stuff for the holidays on that. Should have that what like in a week or two. Um. Yeah, I need to check with my gal, my pop carry, and see how she's coming. We're coming out with some new fun project products for the holidays. Not necessarily holiday, other than a uh, beeswax holiday scented candle. Everything else is just kind of like fun gift giving. I'm trying to be early this year because I heard that there's going to be shipping delays. So I know that people will want to do their Christmas shopping. Well, there's shipping delays on regular years, but now there's like a shortage on everything. It's driving me crazy. I'm don't like, worry. I'm like, I what do you mean you don't have half inch sheets of MDF? I have bought lots of <laughs> Shopper. I guess I could probably 
Is it like super dry? Uh, it's pretty dry. If you didn't put any more sealer over the, we didn't, didn't do any resist. So we've used a lot of different products on here. So if you're following along, the order of products was salt wash mixed with DIY paint. Put that on there, and then we added a liquid sealer. Jamie used Sweet Pickens top coat to create a resist for the milk paint, so that we would get the cracking and chipping. Then we put on the milk paint in Summer Cottage. Yes, is that what that's called? Yeah. I can never remember all the names of all the paints we carry. Um, Summer Cottage in milk paint, that's this fun kind of minty color. And then we, uh, she's going to wax over that with DIY clear wax. Or are you going to do white wax? Um, I think clear, but I might come back with white She's wax. thinking clear, but she might white wax it. And I am stenciling with weathered wood Where from DIY. I think it might be some in the hall. Am I getting white wax because I don't know what my wax is. So there is a link in the description of the video to our website. You just go over on the side because I don't have the individual links for the products um, yet. They will be in there later. But if you just go like the DIY or to uh, milk paint, you'll be able to find the summer cottage and the uh, weathered wood pretty easily. I'm just using, this is actually one of our prototypes for our stencil brushes. Stencil brushes do work well as wax brushes. And I wanted to find one that didn't have um, white wax all over it. Because I am going to white wax this, but not everywhere. And there are still like big flakes, guys. And I'm just going to leave them because I want it to look super old and authentic. Okay. We'll get back to comments here in just a Sorry. sec, guys. And you, the milk paint doesn't change color a lot, but the DIY paint, because it's clay based, that dark, when I wax it, it really brings out the dark because it gets darker. It's weird because most paint dries lighter or darker, um, but DIY paint dries lighter, and then when you seal it, it gets dark again. Oh, I went juicy on that. Oh, that one's cool. Let me heat gun it real fast. So when I say juicy, oh, can you hit the record? Oh. Nope. Forward. There you go. Did it hit work? it again. All right, there we are. Okay, so went a little juicy on that. It always happens when I'm hurrying on a live video. But I'm going to distress it. You won't even notice. like a really white uh, look on there, I would have just used straight up white wax, but I didn't. So I'm coming back with white wax just to kind of highlight the edges. We may lose a good bit of this stencil right here, and that's going to be okay. We're prepared mentally to lose it. I like to do live videos like this in real time because I think sometimes people are, people will say, I can't get mine to look chippy. What do you do? Like they think maybe we're doing stuff off camera. And this is like to show you we are not hiding anything. <laughs> this is how it's done. All right, I'm going to do it with this hand, please. Sorry. Okay. Because I already clear waxed this, the white isn't as harsh as it would be. Plus, um, milk paint is not as porous as DIY paint. So... It doesn't soak in quite as much. And anyways, there we go. The white just adds a little bit more of an oxidized look to it. You could just do clear wax, but. This is just a damp cloth. I'm using it to wipe the, uh, the sanding dust off. And it might get more of the paint off than I wanted. I basically wet distressed it too. So if you're gonna do that, just know you're gonna get some more paint off. You could just use an air hose or let it dry, wipe it off with like a dry paper towel. There we go. Off camera, we'll finish this. I will share the picture in community and up on social media. I'll do a cute staged picture. But I think we got the desired effect. Let me check for comments if there's any questions. There's been lots of comments today. All 
Are we sanding in the kitchen? I mean, just a little bit, Kim. Just a little. I'm not gonna sand anymore. We'll she's sand not, in the she's, she's committed to not using the orbital, which even if you've got great dust collection, sometimes gets dust all over. Yeah. We'll get this finished. You guys hit up jamierayvintage.com for the, if you want these paint and products. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. And we will get this up. And I'll also drop a link later to the actual bench itself in case you want to buy this bench. All right. Bye, guys. Got Thanks for joining us. Going. I was waiting for you to, like, click up there, but.